Let's make power or exponential graphs. This is how they look. Here we have two exponential graphs, a to the power x and b to the power x. a and b are just numbers or constants, like 2 and 3 for example. The graph a to the power x gets steep quickly for positive x values and gets very shallow for negative x values. b is bigger than a, so it gets even more steep and shallow. Let's imagine why they go steep and shallow like this. If a is 2, then the graph will be of things like 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, which would make 2, 4, 8. The numbers are getting bigger. For negative x values, you would get 2 to the power minus 1, 2 to the power minus 2, 2 to the power minus 3, which makes half, quarter, one eighth. These numbers are getting smaller, but they never reach zero. This means the graph never reaches the x-axis. It has an asymptote on the x-axis. They also have a y-intercept at 1, because the x value on the y axis is 0, and anything to the power 0 is 1. Let's try to sketch a more complicated exponential graph. y equals 2 to the power minus x plus 3. We need graph transformation skills for this. To draw it, compare it to a simple exponential graph. y equals 2 to the power x, called 2 to the power x fx. Then, 2 to the power of minus x plus 3 is f of minus x plus 3. The x in the 2 to the power x has been replaced with a minus x, so f of x becomes f of minus x. Then you add 3 to the original function. This means our normal looking exponential graph 2 to the power x is reflected in the y axis and translated up 3 to become the graph y equals 2 to the power minus x plus 3. So the asymptote and y intercept are 3 higher than with a basic exponential graph at 3 and 4 on the y axis.